Hello Aries and welcome to your February 2021 meeting. I hope your year has been off to a good start. So let's see what you have as your overall energy this month. Miracles! Expect the wondrous to emerge. Oh my goodness. Well, I am excited for you. It seems like whatever you have been wanting to come into play, and I'm really getting a sense of manifesting. You've been working towards something, really manifesting, visualizing. Things are going your way. They're going to come into fruition. So right now, happy family. Nice. So this is kind of like the Ten of Cups energy. Um, you know, whether you're really wanting a family or um, even, you know, a partnership or anything. This is just that energy of everything that you have been wanting is going to come true. Oh, Aries, nice nice energy so your obstacle is appreciation so you know you're coming into this lovely energy you may already be in it but make sure this is you know a little reminder from spirit to appreciate it be grateful share it and oh my goodness you have more abundance on the way you are just wow i want to be you <laughs> This is lovely energy. Oh, Aries, you totally deserve it. Okay, so here's your present, the Oracle's gift. And definitely, I think this is a gift from spirit. You know, you've um, possibly been working really long for a very long time to get to this point, to get to this energy. And it's been a long journey. And it is now coming true. You know, it's been spiritually um, gifted to you. Your obstacle is great big love. Okay, so that's kind of interesting because you have a happy family. I really think that this is you being in your heart. Are you really loving it? Are you really appreciating it? Are you sharing it? Because, you know, love is not just about receiving. It's also about sharing it um i also you know i i said are you receiving it and the appreciation like this has come in are you really relishing in this moment are you receiving it like spirit the universe is giving you a gift here are you receiving it are you being open to receive it a tall tale so a tall tale is like the story you're telling yourself or others. You know, are you telling, are you telling others, well, I just got lucky. Or are you telling others, I worked really hard for this. This is something I've really wanted to have happen for a very long time. And once again, it doesn't have to necessarily be the family, but you know, is it a business you want to start and, you know, you worked really, really hard at it and now it's finally coming into fruition and are you, are you telling, you know, your friends and your family, your loved ones, well, I just got lucky. Or are you really looking at what you did to have this come into fruition? You know, the, the journey that you've been on, I think you're kind of denying that. You're not allowing your sun to shine. You're not. Um, you're not allowing this story to be inspirational to others. I think that's part of your journey here. Okay, disruption. Yes, I think that you you may have like gotten all of this abundance, all of this happiness, but you're kind of like, well, it's probably not going to last very long, you know. It, it's just a lucky break. It'll go away. You know, that type of energy. Like, I think that they're really trying to tell you, you, you need to be grateful for this. You need to share it. You need to um, really appreciate the voyage, the journey that you've been on to come to this part, to this place. Authority. Yes, so you're kind of blocking it. I'm really getting the, the idea that you just think it's a miracle that popped out of the blue. 
Um, and, you know, in some aspects, it, it, parts of it are miraculous. But I also think that you've worked really hard at this. And you're kind of blocking the fact of the role that you played in it. And therefore, you're not completely accepting it. Like it's a true gift from the universe. Um, but you have had to do a lot of work to get to this point. And I think what they're trying to tell you is, you know, uncross your arms, open your heart, accept it. Because it's here and it's for you and you earned it. Like we want you to have this. You know, it's kind of like if you give somebody like a birthday gift or, you know, a Christmas gift or Hanukkah gift or something. And then they don't, like they open it and they're like, oh yes, thank you. And you put a lot of thought and effort into buying or making that gift for them. Then how, you know, like part of giving a gift is the way that people receive the gift. And I don't, I, I'm getting the sense that you are not receiving the gift with open arms. Like your arms are crossed and you're like, that's great, but it's not gonna last, um, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. You may have some, a little bit of that attitude. And spirit is like, yeah, if you're thinking it's gonna be gone tomorrow, it is gonna be gone tomorrow. Like you manifested this into your life. You worked for this and you need to accept it. Accept it completely and with open arms and with loving words. Be totally grateful for it. Really appreciate it. Get into this appreciative mode. Yes, I worked hard for this. I worked hard for it, but I'm also going to appreciate it. And, you know, I'm really, I keep coming back to, and I'm going to share it with others. Material and spiritual prosperity. Yes, look at, you have all this abundance. You have all this abundance. I think it's here to stay. I just got that message. It's here to stay. You just need to get in the appreciative mode. It's, it's not, I really feel like you've worked on something for a very long time, whether it's, a romantic connection or a business situation, career path. It's here to stay. You just have to accept it and love it and love what you are receiving. Love it for what it is. Peace. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's interesting. You have disruption and peace. You know, it could be that you feel a little guilty forgetting this. And I think that what spirit is saying, no, you earned this. It's not, you may be thinking it's just a gift and it is somewhat of a gift, but you have also earned it. You've put a lot of time and effort into this. Don't feel guilt or shame in getting this because you really and truly, you know, you worked for it. It's probably been such a long journey that you don't even realize maybe how much work you have had to do to get to this point. Maybe go back and look at that. And I, I keep looking at this smoke. Like, you know, maybe you're thinking this miracle is going to go up in smoke, right? It's going to vanish. But you are holding the lamp. You have total control over the lamp and what you manifest and how long it stays. And the best way for it to stay around is to appreciate it. No place like home. And this is in your obstacle. So you're feeling like you, you want to go home. Interesting. I'm going to pull another one for that. Let's see. You're feeling like you don't have a home? To the sea. This is, to me, this is like my floundering card. Um, which is, you know, just kind of like not knowing what direction. You know, okay, so maybe what you're doing is you got this 
wonderful thing to manifest, but now you don't know where to go with it. Oh, wow. Okay, so you got something wonderful and you're just trying to figure out what do I do next? I remember this one time I was working on this huge, huge project. It took a very long time. And then, you know, it happened. Like, it, it, you know, and it was spectacular. But at the same time, I was kind of like, okay, now what? Like, I remember kind of feeling like, oh, okay, well, wow, I got that done. Fabulous. Had the party to celebrate. But even at the party, I was kind of like, I, you know, where do I go now? Like, I, you s spent so much time getting this to manifest. It was like your, your whole goal, right? Once again, doesn't matter if it's family or business or whatever. It was your ten of cups. Like, that is all I have to accomplish. If I accomplish that, my life will be, you know, set. My life will be happy. I, my life will be whatever. And you accomplished it, but now you're feeling like, I just, I don't know where to go. It's like, I want to go home. I want to go back to having something to work towards. I have a feeling you're just feeling like you, you don't have something to work towards now. You feel a little lost. And, you know, she's in the boat, but... You know, this is the sea. You would think that there'd be big waves and everything. You're just like floating along like, okay, well, everything's fine. I, I just don't know which way to steer the boat. So I'm just going to get in the boat and I'll let spirit, you know, guide me to the next point. And I think that that's a good idea as long as you're appreciating what you have right now. And I still keep coming up with sharing. You have... You know, you have a lot of abundance. Okay, building blocks. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is kind of coming into, like, I'm starting to get the picture. Like, this is just, whatever you've accomplished here is just the beginning. It's just the beginning to something even bigger. Like, you don't see that right now. That's what I think you're confused about. You know, you may keep telling yourself, that's done. I've got everything. I'm finished. But what Spirit is saying, that is really just the tip of the iceberg. They have something bigger in mind for you. They want you to take it to the next level, whatever that means. Whatever that means. And that'll be different for everybody, but think about it in that way. Whatever you've accomplished, it's time to take it to the next level and make more miracles happen. Fear. If you want to be free, free of fears and phobias, then you have to understand why they exist and make peace with them. My goodness. And here you have, you have the fears and then the peace. You have to make peace with your fears. If you want to be free of fears and phobia, then you have to understand why they exist and make peace with them. And our fears exist to help us to overcome things. Look at your fears straight in the eye and see, you know, what is there that you're supposed to learn to overcome that fear. Oh, what a deep reading. I love it. Okay, in your obstacle, distractions. We are trying to solve a problem. You will often be tested by distractions. Yes, you may be, you know, this all uh, occurred, but you're trying to, you're in, you have a little bit of this fear somehow. And you're allowing distractions to come into your life to prevent you from looking at the fear and making peace with it so you can take whatever this is to the next level. I also got the message that, you know, um, she's in this boat and she's just relaxing. It looks like she's reading a book. 
maybe you do need to take a little bit of time just to um, unwind from all the work that you have done to accomplish this. Okay, courage. Have the courage to see the lessons in all situations and face them constructively. Wow. And, you know, there's a lot of different cards in this uh, deck. And I think it's interesting. There's some fear that is really stopping you from taking this to the next level. But Spirit's with you. They're trying to help you with this. To look at the fear. What are you afraid of? I think you may be afraid that the abundance is going to go away or whatever it is that you've manifested is going to go away. But I think that their message here is to take what you have already gained and, and provide more, like take it to the next level. And I do, I keep getting the message to help others. Take it to the next level to help others. Patience. Okay, so you need patience right now with yourself and with your fears. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. You may feel pressure. Maybe you feel pressure. Maybe you have people, like you have come into some abundance and you have people that are kind of, that are kind of coming and asking for money or a job or something like that. You may be fearful. Are they only coming because they like me now because I have money and I didn't before? Something like that. Or do, you know, you may be a little bit afraid of that. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with those that you're dealing with. This is the temperance card, you know. You know, in traditional um, tarot, she's holding to the two cups and, you know, pouring the the water between the two cups. Um, balancing out, to me, that's speaking, balancing out your fears, you know, your fears and your peace. Like, when you have a negative thought or a fear, you know, get back into that grateful mode. Fill that, that fear with love. Understand just, like, how much strength you have in this situation how much you've already learned and how you're going to use that to accomplish even more for fire so this is the four of wands you're not celebrating you're not celebrating whatever it is that you already have that's come out a couple of times you know with that appreciation card and um yeah you're not celebrating it celebrate it queen of air you're going to get the clarity you are going to get the clarity about how to move forward in this situation. What, what the next steps are. Okay, this one popped out and it's upside down. Nine of Swords. That's putting down your fears. Yeah, so have patience with yourself. Whatever you're afraid of, your nightmares, you're going to be putting them down. Put those, put your fears down. That is definitely the message. Put your fears down. You have everything that you need. Um, celebrate this win that you have. Celebrate that win. King of Wands. Yeah, so you're not, you're not inspired. For some reason, I think you just have to really celebrate and 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 see what this is. See the good in whatever this is. You know, maybe you've manifested something. You know, like when we manifest, we don't actually get always the thing that we actually manifested. It may have come in a different form than you were expecting. And you're just not celebrating it because you're like, well, yeah, I wanted, uh, I wanted a new house, but... You know, I wanted one with a pool in the back. And it doesn't have a pool. Like, you don't see the beautiful house that you have. You're just concentrating on, it doesn't have a pool in the back, or whatever it is, right? Like, the universe always gives you what they think is the best for you. And for your long-term goals, and for your journey. 
And I think that maybe some, you got a gift, you got, you accomplished something, but it's not maybe in the form that you thought it would be. But I think that with this, expect the wondrous to emerge. I think that <laughs> it's because you have something even bigger coming in. Like they said, okay, well, we're going to give you this house. It doesn't have a pool. Yep, it doesn't have a pool. But that's because we have something bigger in mind for you down the road. You're not going to need the pool. You're not really, you know, you think you want the pool, but guess what? Um, the house has a, a lake. <laughs> it's on a lake. Uh, so look beyond the lack of a pool to see the lake that you're living on, this beautiful lake that not only can you swim in, you can boat on, you can fish in. <laughs> Two of Wands, yeah. You're going to get the clarity. You're going to know how to make the decision to bring in this even bigger abundance. Very nice. You know, some of your fear could be that you don't know how to manifest the right way. Well, great, I got the house, but I didn't get the house that I was really hoping for. You know, once again, celebrate and appreciate whatever it is that you have received lately because there are even bigger and better things on the way. So even if this came in and it's not exactly the way you wanted it, there's bigger and better coming. Okay, so let's pull a Love Oracle card. Okay, hey, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. And I think that's really good for this because I think, you know, one of the things is, is that you're dwelling on what you had envisioned in your mind, but your heart isn't necessarily embracing what you have here. Lovely. Okay, we'll pull an angel message to finish this out. And if you, um, Aries, if you have enjoyed this reading, I would really appreciate if you would like this video and maybe even subscribe to my channel. Okay, so an angel message. Conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love, not what you think you should do. And, you know, both of these are talking about the heart. And remember, you have the fear and the peace, right? Um, these two cards. And I think you are in conflict. You know, this is what I should do. This is what my heart wants to do. And you're kind of torn between these two energies, and I think that what Spirit is trying to tell you is go with your heart. Like you may have manifested something in your life that you thought you wanted. You thought is what you should do or should have. And you're realizing now that's not really what your heart wants. You need to tweak whatever it is that you've accomplished because you really do, look at this, you have so much abundance coming your way. Um, take whatever you already have accomplished or manifested and help it and take it to the next level. Add your heart, add your love to it because it's going to help you shine through. You're, you've only accomplished the first step. Your tall tale may be that you think you've accomplished everything but you really haven't, and you, you probably know that. That's why you have that conflict in your mind. Very nice. Oh, Aries, I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all of your situations. Bye for now.